This episode is brought to you by Hills Pet Nutrition. Every shelter pet deserves a second chance, and you're making it possible for thousands of them every day. Because when you feed your pet Hills, you help feed a shelter pet, which helps make them healthy, happy, and more adoptable, changing their life forever. So they can change yours. Over 14 million shelter pets fed and adopted. Science did that. Visit hillspet.com slash podcast to learn more. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, this is probably going to start up some stuff, so... To my fans, forgive me, but no, there's at times when you kind of, you you gotta say some things in order for a person to get a better understanding, because at the end of the day, I really just want to be left alone, I really do, do not get me wrong, like, I hope that this doesn't lead into no drama, I hope it doesn't lead into no beef, I mean, if a video gets made about me, it gets made about me, I can't sweat it, you know, I've had videos um, made about me before and stuff, and, um, yeah, it's just, you know, I'm at a point in time in my life where I know that there's a much more bigger picture when it comes to, like, beefing and drama and having issues with people. Because, yeah, it's like, it's it's internet stuff, you know? Like, if, if I can, like, spend some time giving out advice to people that... When it does come to drama and all that stuff with, like, any any form of content creating, whether it's... You don't really see it, though, with Twitch streamers and, like, anybody else. Like, I, I, I've i seen it very little on TikTok, and I think that was probably... I don't know. Do people even beef? I feel like that that's only a YouTube thing. You don't really see people going at it um, on, like, any other platform unless, like, they're an artist or something, like a rapper or something. But other than that, it's like, no... I can't even say that people be beefing, like, outside of YouTube. Yeah, that's just more so a, a YouTuber thing and stuff. So I think my advice to everybody, uh, maybe maybe it might not be the best idea to become a YouTuber. Not, maybe when, like, stuff kind of just starts chilling out. But that's the thing, though. Like, when when is it going to chill out? Like, when are you going to be able to just look up one day and somebody accepts the content that you upload? You know, like, there's people out there uploading far more worse content that i'm uploading so you it just it really trips me out how like there's people in this world that exist where it's like they'll look at your content and then they'll make it seem like that that's the worst form of content that ever exists that i'm like fam it's really not especially i don't look the thing is this i don't care if i have one fan 10 fans 100 fans a thousand a hundred thousand million a hundred million a billion i don't care how many fans i have it's the thing is, is this people are going to be entertained by my content and it don't matter how many views it get. It don't matter how many subscribers I gained from those types of videos. At the end of the day, people are going to like the content. It ain't no different than the person I'm going to be talking about. It ain't no different than anybody else, your neighbor, whoever. Fam, you'll see people upload videos of themselves. Like, this, I had to say, this would probably be one video where I was like, wow. And it got, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I think it was over 100,000 views. But it was of a content creator eating um, a head of lettuce. A head of lettuce. She wasn't saying nothing in the video. She wasn't doing anything else. She was honestly just eating a head of lettuce. But that's the thing, though. That one particular video doesn't speak for her. That's just the one video where I was like, wow. <laughs> I, I mean, hey. like, And that's the thing where it's like, I didn't even look at it as an opportunity to hate on somebody. I looked at it as like, wow. She got over 100,000 views just eating lettuce. I mean, anybody can eat lettuce, but I mean, hey, you know, people, people like, and the funny thing is, when you look today on YouTube, I'm, if you hear my voice kind of get muffled a little bit because I'm taking my hoodie off, but if you see some videos nowadays, you see where people be doing uh, the mukbang videos and stuff. So it's like, there's even that form of content where it's like, people just like seeing people eat. And I'm like, I know for me, it, the funny thing is, is like, I don't even, it, I, not so much as the eating videos, but the cooking videos. Like, I'll be sitting down having me like breakfast, lunch, dinner, watching some Gordon Ramsay videos or something. And I feel people will look at his videos and try to criticize his videos. They'll probably criticize mukbang videos. That's the thing, though. To a fan, criticism about that particular content is not going to matter at all. That person is still at the end of the day because think about it. Talking, so there's a content creator for those that are new to my podcast. 
Um, you guys might have seen or heard me mention them before and stuff, but there's a content creator that really has it out for reaction videos. He used to uh, do them like videos, like hating videos all the way back then, um, like maybe 2016 on uh, reaction videos, did some videos back then, and then he just recently did another video. And my thing is, is this. If your video didn't have no effect on the reaction community back then, why would you all of a sudden think that a video right now would have an effect? It's not. That's something I shouldn't even have to tell you. You should know that. You you paint yourself out as the smarter content creator. Like, oh, anybody that I go up against that I have issues with, they don't understand me. They don't understand. I'm like, the one thing I have to say that I don't understand about this guy is that you talk about people as if you're better than them when it comes to whatever like whether it's content creating being a person i can tell you right now and i have to say this is going to probably be the part where i become a little bit disrespectful you can do some of the most accomplishing things in your life it's still not going to matter because you the thing is this you want the stuff that doesn't matter to matter like these videos that you're making about reaction videos or anybody else you want that content to matter so much and i guarantee and i promise you you one day you're gonna look up and it's gonna be the fans that were commenting on your videos every time you upload it sending you messages uh, responding to your tweets. If you got an Instagram, com commenting underneath your uh, um, Instagram posts on whatever it is that you're posting. You know, you're going to look up one day and see all these people gone. Like, I, if I can really tell the future with this guy's content, it's one day we're going to look up and it's going to be gone. People that's like, that had issues with this guy. And it's funny, that's what's going to happen. This man is going to destroy everything about himself just because he wants to prove a point and the thing is is this it's a point that nobody asked to be proven that's that's the stuff that confused me so much with this guy all the way back then and even now where it's like your fans try so hard to just prove this one point that he's better than me but i'm like the fact that you guys gotta say this on a regular basis like is that something that you honestly believe i feel like when a person gotta speak on something that many times they don't believe that they they do not believe that at all the funny they'll say any and everything's to try to get in your head but i'm like i really feel that they're so far into their head that it's like they think that they're getting in people's head but it's like no we're just looking at you guys like you're crazy. <laughs> I'm saying it, it just it really concerns me that people carry on this way and then they think that they're doing something right. What is it that you think that you're doing right? What is it that you think that you're accomplishing? The funny thing is, is that when all this stuff started, I had 3,000 subscribers. I had a little over 3,000 subscribers. I think it was like slowly getting up to like four or five thousand but the funny thing is i remember when the hate really started like because the hate had really started in 2017 i remember when all that hate and all that drama had started i gained 10,000 subscribers i i got to that 10,000 uh mark with subscribers so i felt i looked at it as like okay you guys couldn't do nothing back then i hit 10,000 subscribers so you guys couldn't do nothing then then from that point from 2017 all the way up until 2020 non-stop dislikes non-stop i mean i can upload a video onto my main channel onto my gaming channel i think i was uh like getting like 2019 i think i had just started creating other channels like i think i had created my sports channel my uh moss and hip-hop channel they were disliking videos on there and the funny thing is is like i got into the mix with the right community a community that actually cared because they try to make it seem like that their god almighty advice is going to help you to the promised land of being a content creator i can tell you right now whatever advice that it is the, the funny thing is is like they always say that they had this advice to give me and it's like okay why not just comment it why not just say it they're like you guys want to like start up some other crap rather than just doing the one thing and it's like you're wanting to just lead this into the longest 
like drama like period of drama for no reason and i'm like fam get to the point because even i even remember it was like the last conversation that we had right before like the hate went crazy and stuff i kept asking him get to the point why are you on my channel why are you commenting on my videos he wants to talk about everything else like he wants himself to be heard so much and that's one thing that i think he will never realize nobody is hearing you not one single, I, I'm going to be as blunt as I possibly can. And again, this is probably going to be somewhat disrespectful, but it gets to a point where it's like, look, you guys then district, I, you know, I, I really don't care at the end of the day, you know, what's being said to me, what's being done to me. But it's like the fact that he does this to other people too. Like he, he gets to a point where he's like, oh, I think I've said everything I need to say here. Let me move on to some other victim and stuff. You have to understand that nobody cares about you. I, I, I'm like, I feel bad for saying that, but at the same time, your fans don't care about you. The people that you talk about don't care about you. Not one single person cares about you. That's sad. That's sad because you got to sit down and think about it. What have you done impactful in your life? What have you done? What have you done for your parents? What have you done for your siblings? your friends, your peers, people around you. What have you even done for the fans that are subscribed to your channel? You can check this guy's social blade right now. He is, bro, he, he's not getting the same amount of attention that he was getting at one point in time. Maybe, just maybe, it might change. Maybe he might upload that right video. That's usually what happens with content creators. It takes some time. They upload that right video. And then at some point, channel, it just, it skyrockets. It go crazy, you know? But here's what I personally think with his channel. It has seen its days. Unless he can prove me wrong. Unless he can. And that's another thing that I've um, learned about him. Is that it's funny how he'll get on me. He'll criticize me. And him and his fans will say like. Oh you're a lazy content creator. All you do is steal people's content. All you do is this. this. They, they want to paint me out as the worst suspect of all time. When it comes to content creating. But I'm like fam. You don't even edit your own videos. Like, the funny thing is, is that he has all these people that will edit his videos. He even had where one guy, and that guy was uh, talking to underage boys and stuff. He even had, like, um, yeah, pervert editing his videos. I'm saying you got all these different people helping you with your channel. Meanwhile, everybody that should, the funny thing is, is, like, he'll talk about people, and they be some of the most creative people in this world. There's something about them where it really speaks on their character, where it's like, wow, this person is talented. Meanwhile, what talents do you have? What do you have going on for yourself? What, what can you show the world where it's like, oh my God, like you got people shocked. I mean, people are watching your content or whatever, whatever form of art that you are putting into this world. And they're like, wow, you did an outstanding job. Like you're getting a standing ovation for your content you that's the thing that he i don't think he like he doesn't realize it until i'm saying it right now that will never happen nobody i it's going to be years down the road nobody is not going to remember your content they're not going to bring it up they're not going to talk about it the fans that you got right now one day they're going to find another content creator they're going to be a fan of their videos there you will see probably one of the most crazy no the thing is, is this i can't even, i can't even call it a fast decline he's going to see the slowest decline with his content with his channels and everything that he got going on he is going to it's either going to be that like he's watching it as it's happening or he's just going to up and quit he's going to be like no i quit i'm not going to watch this happen to myself i'm leaving i'm going you know i'm, I'm gonna go be a a human i'm gonna go do some human stuff like i can't care it's going to get to a point where his decline with his content is going to destroy him it is seriously going to eat at him. It is going to destroy him that he never... Like, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, 200 and something thousand subscribers, millions of views. No, you did an outstanding job at one point in time with content creating. You was killing it. You was 100. That's something that I can say that my adult self, because I felt like when me and this guy, when we crossed paths, I was a little immature. I was a little bit hard-headed. But that's something that I can say about myself that I grew up as a person 
What can you say about yourself? What can you say about yourself that's different from back then compared to who you are now? What can you say is like different about yourself where it's something that you could be proud of? Me, on the other hand, I can say that I've done so many accomplishing things with content creating. I'm actually proud of the videos that I put out. I'm actually happy that I'm a content creator. That's one thing that can bring me out of a character where it's like I don't there's days where I just do not feel like myself like if I could just talk on myself real quick there's days where I really be going through it mentally like I'd be sitting there thinking like I am like I'm sad I'm down I'm out I'm depressed I'm this I'm that but as soon as I press start on OBS as soon as I press go live on Streamlabs OBS as soon as I press record on um the podcast um Audacity I think that's the name of this recording software that I use for my uh podcast I could do all of that and I just I become me like I really become me you, on the other hand, it's like you're becoming a character where do you honestly think that's a question that I would like a truthful answer to. Do you honestly think you could become the character who you are right now on the Internet face to face with a bunch of random people? Because that's that's something where it's like he might not want to admit it. He, he'll see it, but he doesn't want to admit that that's what he's seeing right now. I guarantee and I promise you. If he were to take his character on some like world tour and go all across over to wherever, wherever he wants to go, and he starts acting like how he acts on the internet to people face to face, they're going to look at him like he's a crackhead. They're going to look at him like this guy has issues. Has he taken his medication today? Because you, you, my friend, you got, no, that's something where I, another thing he might not, there's a lot of things I feel like he doesn't want to admit with himself because he's so caught up being this character, but it's like, you do need professional help. You need some sort of medication, a therapist, you need something that can relax your mind right now because it's clear as day. You're going through something. It, my thing is this, all right, even talking on uh, of the video he just recently did where he's talking on reaction videos and stuff, it's like, fam, how dead is this like reaction video argument? That that's That's just talking to my fans right now. Do you honestly think even even if I'm not your all-time favorite person that does reaction videos, let's say it's somebody else that does reaction videos. Let's say it's I'm Dante. Let's say that's something that I can say about myself is that I know I'm not the best. I know I'm not great at what I do, you know, but I still do it. I have to say that I'm a hard worker at what I do, but I know I'm not the best. There's people out there. That's something where I'm like, I'm not in no competition with other content creators. I can look at another content creator and be like, man, they're killing it. And then rather than like, oh, let me compete with them, I look at that as an opportunity is let me help them. Let me take my fans over to their channel. Let me support what they got going on. When was the last time he did that for one of his fans? When was the last time he did that for one of his supporters? You see them supporting him more than he supports them. That's someday his fans, they, it's like, I feel like that this episode is going to be one of the most biggest eye-opener episodes for his fans. That's something where it's like his fans, they want to go around and comment on everybody's video talking about, oh, he, he, he ended you. You ain't going to never recover. You, he, he's this, he's that. Oh, he, he's better than you. He's all this. When was the last time he did that for you? When was the last time he did anything for you? He puts out the same videos every single day. I At least with my fans, they have that opportunity. They got shorts that they can watch, gaming videos. I'm giving them a whole universe of content. And if the thing is this, if they don't want to watch my content, I give them other content creators to watch. So that's why when people, when they want to look at me, it's like, oh, I'm doing reaction videos. I'm still in content. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Meanwhile, I'm promoting people. There's probably people where it might not be a whole lot of subscribers, but I guarantee and I promise you at least one person has at least seen one of my videos and subscribed to the person that I was uh, reacting to. Do you think his fans, do you think that's even something talking about his fans? Because I'm like his fans, I feel like they're even more toxic than him. That's somewhere I, that it, it's so, it's so sad to see people be that mindless to a person, he, the thing, it's so weird how his fans don't care about him and he don't care about his fans. And they don't realize that. They do not realize that at all. 
it, it's one it's one of the most business relationships that I, I have ever seen it's either that or they like they're sit, they kissing the ground that this man walks on it's crazy how this guy he can do a whole racist rant about black people this man has black fans and they will still support him that's how mindless they are it's like you the thing is this you got your whole life ahead of you you got all these different things around you talking to his fans you got all these different things around you where you can go out you can be an adult you can be a kid how whatever age you are but you can be you you would rather be no that's that's something that they don't i don't think they'll ever want to be known as is one of his fans that's why when you see a lot of his fans, they're not, when they, when they comment on people's videos, they're not commenting underneath their government name or who they really want to be and stuff. No, they're underneath like some third party. They're underneath some like mind controlled substance from this guy's channel. But that that's one thing about, and it's, I mean, it's, I feel like that's an eye opener for me right now. Him and his fans, they're really not no different. It's a community filled with characters all but characters and then the one and i know a lot of people will probably be thinking to themselves when would these guys ever get out of character the day when they get out of character is the day when they're going to your channel apologizing for all the weird stuff that they put you through and there's no disrespect to those people to the ones that have um came to me and apologized for stuff i got nothing but respect for you and a matter of fact, I think uh, one of the few times where somebody had did that was the guy that um, he, well, yeah, he's an, I, I believe he's an adult now. I don't know how old he is exactly. I think, yeah, at the time being, he was a kid. But anyway, so the guy that I've been talking about this past episode, the, the main character, he, uh, yeah, he had an editor. And I kind of mentioned this in this uh, episode, but at some point in time, he did have this editor that was, he was a very, very shady guy. I was like, I, he was one of those people where I was I was like man i definitely don't see you lasting long in which he didn't he at some point in time it was because of this and a bunch of other stuff that he did yeah they uh he he ended up seeing his final few days you know and the main character he ain't too uh far behind him but anyways um so that guy got caught up the the editor he got caught up talking to an underage boy at one point in time like he was saying i had watched the guy's video that was like at the time being when he was a kid i watched this video where he was talking about that and i was like wow like this this is like <laughs> I, I ain't gonna say the name but this is an island of some sorts with this community i'm like nah man there's gonna definitely besides this kid or this guy i ain't gonna call him because he ain't, i don't believe he's a kid no more but there's gonna probably be a lot of people um coming out of this community saying how there was a lot of shady things that was being done and said and that's something where it's like he can't because i i can look at my fans and be like okay i know these guys ain't gonna turn on me i know they ain't gonna change because there's nothing that's being said behind closed doors to where it's going to incriminate us it's going to destroy us if we having a conversation what no the thing is is this we don't even have conversations behind the scenes whatever interactions you see with uh, my fans whether it's twitch streams whether it's uh, met, it's stuff that I know that we can talk about face to face in a crowd of people. Do you think, do you think, cause that, that was something that I remember, uh, hearing a while back was that these guys got like a discord server and they, yeah, they just be saying whatever in that discord server and stuff. And I think it was, um, at one point in time, allegedly the main character that I've been talking about, uh, yeah, it was a situation where I don't know if that was uh, true or not, but allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly, but yeah, he got caught up talking to some underage girls. And I'm thinking to myself, like, and you're calling me out over reaction videos? Who, honestly, that that's a question. Now, this is a question. This this question is ready to eat for everybody. Who do you think is going to go to prison uh, first? <laughs> like, honestly, a guy that harassed people, allegedly talks to um, underage girls, what are some, oh, uh, hate speech? I'm saying, like, he has crimes underneath his belt. 
All I'm doing is reacting to videos. Who who do you think YouTube is going to have on the front page of uh, their website? You know, yeah, I might have gotten a lot of different strikes and all that stuff through YouTube. But at the end of the day, you have to honestly, you have to be honest with yourself. Who do you think is going to make it? I know a lot of people are probably going to say him because he got the more subscribers. He has more views. He got something going for himself. But at the same time, do you think that that can last? Do you honestly think that that can last? How la uh, how how long do you think that's gonna last? How long do you think um him and his content is gonna last? I guarantee, and I promise you, it might not be uh today. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be at any given point in time this year or the next year, whenever. But we are going to look up one day. We are. We are going to look up one day. Him and his fans might not want to admit it, but I'm going to admit it for them because they don't want to be true to themselves, so I got to be true um, for them. They're all going to look up one day. His videos ain't going to be here. If if they, my thing is this, if they are, if we're going to look up and we're going to see the last time that he uploaded was some years back. And then at that point, that's, that's when I feel that a lot of his victims, a lot of the people that fell victims to, uh, to his videos, they're going to be like, oh, oh, he's gone. Oh, he, he, ain't even, he ain't even doing stuff no more. See, and that's the thing where it's like there's probably some people that fell victim to this guy where they don't even feel comfortable being on YouTube no more because him and his fans, they put them in that uncomfortable situation. They don't realize that. They don't realize those types of things until it happens to them. And I, and I just recently did a video where I was talking on uh, the reaction like hate video he just recently did. But that's another thing that I honestly do believe too that one day he is going to look up. And he is going to mess around and make the wrong somebody upset. And it's going to be something that him, his, he, that's when I feel like he'll see his fans for who they really are. His fans ain't going to want to be involved with that. I guarantee and I promise you, if, if he had the same stuff, the same stuff that he put people through, if that, if those very same things had started happening to him, oh, his fans, they would jump ship so fast he will be looking around you know like that final episode of uh fresh prince of bel-air when will was um in the living room and he was just kind of these guys probably don't even know what fresh prince of bel-air is even the black ones that's in this community but <laughs> anyways but that final episode of fresh prince of bel-air and that that's exactly what's gonna happen to this guy he's gonna be looking around it ain't gonna be no carlton coming up out the bathroom either like no he is going to be on his channel by himself well, well i feel like maybe not that what's something that i can reference maybe the guy um the the captain at the end of titanic with like the one he was standing in the uh uh what with, with like the 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 one area i can't even think of the one area he was standing in but the glass had like broken and all that stuff but that guy okay that guy the one with the beard not the one that um built the ship but the captain and stuff where he was like i think it was uh jack and his friend they was like oh i'm the king of the world and that very like the when they i think when they said cut and then it was that very next thing the captain the dude with the beard if you guys might not remember just go watch titanic again but watch and get to the, the like the end point and it's when the guy with the white beard he was standing in the room and i think he was holding on to the steering uh wheel of the uh, ship and stuff and he got to looking around and the water just rushed in and it pretty much killed them and stuff but anyways that's what's gonna be his situation he's gonna be looking around he he's because that's that's pretty that is no that is exactly what that is his channel and everything that he has worked on is the titanic he at some point in time, he might have already hit that iceberg. He might be getting close to hitting that iceberg. But all of the people that so-called claim they were, you know, a fan of his ship, they were a fan of his channel and his content and all that stuff, they're going to jump ship. Yeah, there's going to probably be some people that go down with the ship and things. But I guarantee and I promise you, he is going to go down with that ship. And there is nothing that he can do about it. There ain't no videos that he can make. There ain't no comments that he can make. There ain't no tweets. Nothing. Messages. Nothing. He could do all. The funny thing is, is like it, it might even be a situation too where he tries to make amends um, with people. And he wants to, oh, I'm sorry for all the different stuff that I put you through. I'm sorry for all the... That's not going to change nothing. He, I have to say, he's going to probably be in the most vulnerable state of his whole life. 
and the, the I feel like his his fans they're going to like look they're going to look at this episode and be all like oh you know he T Boss Boss he's just talking crazy as usual he he don't he don't understand nobody he, they're going to say everything possible everything possible to try to make it seem like that everything that I just said is not going to happen I've been a content creator for fourteen years fourteen years. I have seen a lot of content creators and their ships crash, crumble, and fall. I'm telling you right now, people, it's like it, it's something where it's it'll just have to happen in order for them to be like, oh, well, dang, maybe T Moss Boss was right. Maybe T Moss Boss wasn't. Maybe he wasn't crazy. Maybe he he does have like a point to all of this and stuff. Because it'll probably be that one fan that's jumping ship, and then they're gonna be thinking of that one this whole episode that I just did. They're gonna be thinking of it, and they're gonna be like, dang, T Moss Boss was right. Wow. That's something they ain't gonna want to admit it online, but they're going to I, I feel like that'll be the one time, the very first time in their life when they admit something that ain't coming from their mouth but it's coming from somebody else's mouth and they can admit that that person was right and that's gonna be i man i'm telling you right now it, it's gonna i'm telling it's i definitely think it's gonna be a situation where he done said something to the wrong somebody and oh yeah his channel is going to like it's it's going to sink that that whoever that person is because oh trust me that and that person they they're going to be that iceberg they're going to be much more bigger than his channel they're going to give his channel that one haymaker that's going to mess it all up good i just pretty much good luck all right that's that's all i can say about that is like good luck um, I hope not too many people go down <laughs> with this ship, but, uh, yeah, I'm like, there, it's, it's gonna be some, I know that much, it's gonna be some, because, no, that's the thing, there, because I feel like the reason why I think that there are gonna be some people that do go down with it, because you think everybody just jumps ship, right? No, there's gonna be some people where they just, they don't know where to go, they, they have, they don't have nowhere else to go to, like, the, and this is talking on his fans, they literally have no other place to go to they feel safe quote unquote safe on his channel they feel like that they're accomplishing something this is may some may people may even look at that even even if it's not the titanic example death row records look look at that then another another thing that was on top of the world look how that came crashing down there yeah, they might have tried to revive it a few times and stuff it wasn't re uh, well Snoop Dogg, I feel like Snoop Dogg would do good with it and stuff, but that'll probably be the only way. Where it's somebody that actually wants to do, but I don't think he he ain't gonna do that. He ain't gonna give up his channel to uh, somebody else and things. No, that's 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 not gonna happen. But uh, no, I um going all right. So yeah, maybe going back to well, no, if we talking like '90s uh, death row records and stuff. So yeah, that's that's the death row records I'm talking about and stuff. But yeah, it's um it's gonna most likely be a situation where it's like we all look up and then. Yeah, his 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 little thing that he got going on is gonna be done and over with. So, um, you know, it's it's unfortunate, but here's the thing: he made his bed, now he has to lie in it. All right. So, anyways, with that being said, I don't think I was too disrespectful in this episode. Like, I was thinking of, like along the things like maybe I could call these guys losers or something. I mean, in a way, I do feel that way and stuff. Like, if I'm gonna be truthfully honest with you guys, it's like, yeah, they're losers. I'm like, it ain't even like those good losers where they actually do some accomplishing at some point in time. No, they're just those, they're those guys that lost. That it's like they, they want to point fingers at everybody and make it seem like that everybody else is the problem when it's like, no, you're the problem. <laughs> like, you're the problem. Another thing, they don't want to admit that, you know? But no, it's like a, a lot. I think they're, it's, they might not want to admit it. They might not see it. But the rest of the world, that's why I'm like, because my thing is this. If you upload this content that's all good and that it's the best content in the world, it's better than my content, it's better than that. How come you don't have, how come you're not the one with 100 million subscribers? How come you don't have a million subscribers? Not even 500,000 subscribers. I, I know I might not have my subscribers. I know I might not have all my millions and stuff. But my thing is this. You don't even have a video that's over a million views. I got multiple videos with over a million views. 
that's just me being me the person the person that you try to make it seem like that oh i'm gonna i'm the worst content creator of all time i'm never gonna recover from all this drama and this beef and this hatred i just recently uploaded a video six million views i uploaded two other videos over a million views that's just on youtube multiple videos with thousands upon thousands of views tiktok three videos with um over three million views i got two videos with over three million views and one video that's sitting at five million views i'm saying bro like i'm doing good <laughs> like i am doing good and that's the thing where it's like if it ain't gonna be youtube it's gonna be somewhere else i'm gonna do good somewhere else so can you say that very can you the thing is, is this i give I'm, I'm giving him a challenge i'm gonna give him a challenge and if he doesn't do this challenge, then he might as well just say goodbye to his channel and all that stuff. Work on other content. Make music. Make a gaming video. Do, do something different than what you're usually doing. But if this is the route that you want to go down, then you might as well wave goodbye to your channel. Because at some point in time, you're going to look up and you're going to realize there ain't no coming back from all the stuff that you've said and done. Like, you are going to have to say goodbye to your channel. Then you're probably going to be thinking, oh, well, maybe last minute I could do something. It'll probably be a situation. He might even be doing that right now. He might be a, um, another content creator doing other videos on another channel and stuff. Might not be as famous as his uh, main channel. But, um, yeah, he probably already got a backup plan in case if this channel don't work out. He probably, if not, then, yeah, me just saying it probably then gave him the idea for it and stuff but um yeah at some point in time if he doesn't change how he does his content he is gonna have to say goodbye to that channel so i mean he almost had to say goodbye to it not too long ago when he got hacked so i feel like that was a sign i feel like that you know it should have been a wake-up call to you but yeah that's the thing it's funny how i remember he made a video about me talking about i don't understand nothing and i think he might have made another video like oh, i'll never learn he he made a lot of videos on me but i feel like that yeah he he's gonna at some point in time like you know he right, right now he might not understand but at some point in time then he'll understand and be like well dang i think that's the one thing that he doesn't want to think and don't ever want to admit that that i was right on everything that i said in this podcast episode so anyways um yeah i feel like i feel like i said a lot of good things in this episode i feel like you know if it doesn't get through to him it'll get through to somebody else and things maybe one i had to say it'll definitely be one of his fans and it's like when he starts like losing subscribers and uh people don't be watching his videos like how they once were and stuff then that's when it's like it, it might hit him but it, if not him then definitely one of his fans they're all like hey well you know what I'm going to jump ship now <laughs> before some stuff goes down. So, but anyways, with that being said, nah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Make sure you like and subscribe viewing this on YouTube. Follow or subscribe viewing this on podcast streaming service. Thank you guys and peace.